Hello, folks. Welcome back to Seven Max Hit the Road. The blood there one time there. Just you can't look at that. It's my little buddy, ready for action. Okay. I just love to turn this guy inside out. Oh, that gives me an idea. The hell? <laughs> According to these orders, something bizarre is happening at the carnival. I thought that was the whole point. Maybe we should check it out when we've got nothing better to do, like guinea time. Okay, so what do we get? It's our orders from the commissioner, telling us to hightail it down to the carnival. Okay. I didn't even know what the hell I was doing. Let's go to the carnival then, I guess. I love this car. You're a sick puppy, Sam. No, really. I can't pick that up. Cushman Brothers Shows. Oh. Weird. Creepy. What's the hold up? Sorry boys, we are closed. I can't let you in. Insurance reasons, you know. Let us in, holy old breath. Nope. I want a corn dog. You'd better have a better reason than that if you expect me to let you in. Who are those misanthropes at the gate? Which misanthropes? The short one with the bad hairpiece and the tall one with the dark flinty eyes. Hey, I just work here. Anything else? I'll be back. I can hardly wait. Stop! It's our orders from the commissioner, telling us to hightail it down to the carnival. Check this out, Jack. We're the freelance police. Here's our authorization to be here. Now let us in before we replace you with a cheap renewable fuel source. Let me run this by the boss. Uh, I guess you can go in. But be careful. Cannibals can be dangerous to your health. Ho, ho, ho. That was needlessly cryptic. I'd be peeing my pants if I wore any. Uh, oh, what do you got here? Everything seems to be in order here. Sam, look over there. How dare you call in the authorities without consulting me? Well, I tried talking to you, but you were off wallowing in your own self-pity. <laughs> yeah, but it's them. 
Hi, I'm Chef Cushman, and this is my brother Burl. Welcome to our carnival. What's left of it? I'm Sam. He's Max. We savagely protect the rights of innocence. Even cruelly twisted ones such as yourself. Selves. Whatever. Well, you sound like just the guys to solve our little problem. Walk this way. See this melted block of ice? How could we miss it? This used to be our main attraction. Your main attraction was a block of ice? Don't be dense. Our main attraction was a genuine, authentic, real life, Bigfoot on ice. Hey, let me get this straight. You want us to go traipsing all over the country looking for a soggy Bigfoot? I've never been traipsing before. Does it hurt? But Bruno must be returned to us. He's a brutish, ignorant beast with no sense of right or wrong. Hey, who isn't? Besides, he's kidnapped our second main attraction. Is that the block of ice? No, it's Trixie the giraffe neck girl from Scranton. She disappeared at the same time Bruno did. We can only assume that the monster took her when he made his escape. I guess Max and I could search for your missing freaks, but we'll need free run of the carnival to look for clues. Yeah, and free coin dogs, so we can uke all over ourselves. No problem. Here's an all-day free pass. Leave everything to us, and we'll have those abominations of nature back in your protective care before you can read the Koran. Didn't he fight Godzilla? Hey, this means we can ride free all day. Does it say anything about corn dogs, Sam? Sorry, little buddy. Why, you dirty link sniffing mama's twins, I ought to stretch your legs around your head and make you do the lampada. Gee, maybe you shouldn't be eating corn dogs anyway. Yeah, I guess you're right. I don't need the cholesterol. Forgive my senseless reasoning, Sam. Make him do the macarena. Ugh. Uh, which one do I talk to? Me! Me! Him! Him! I'll bet life is an unending torment for you guys. Actually, it's not so bad. Speak for yourself. Where do you buy your clothes, anyway? These aren't clothes. Our skin is naturally green and vinyl-like. Good Lord! <laughs> He's buck naked! So are you. Yeah, but I'm cute and marketable. <laughs> Is there anything else you can tell us about your escaped Bigfoot? Well... He's a Bigfoot. He's escaped. He's a menace to society. What more could you possibly need to know? He's right, Sam. I don't think my colossal head could retain any more knowledge. What can you tell us about Trixie? She's a very caring, sensitive young woman. If you care about that kind of stuff. She used to sing folk songs to the other freaks in her trailer. You ever heard a Scrantonese folk song? No. You don't want to. Oh, there was one other thing. She likes her men like the Statue of Liberty. Green and rusty. Tall and dense. Uh, who are those guys we bumped into out by the gate? Uh, what guys? One was a short guy with big hair. The other one was a tall guy with big hands. Oh, you must be talking about internationally renowned recording star Conroy Bumpus. And his assistant, Lee Harvey. Bumpus? Who's Conroy Bumpus? He's a loon. Insane. And the country and western singer, The Boot. He actually wanted to buy Bruno and Trixie from us. Boy, was he steamed when he found out that we didn't have them anymore. Uh, okay. Well, it's back to the Bigfoot hunt. He looks delicious. <laughs> Hi. There's a traitor. It's the door to Trixie's trailer. That sounds like a country western song, Sam. Trixie's trailer, I don't think so. It is, I never heard it. 
It's one of those impossible to win carny games that have been ripping off the American consumer for decades. I love capitalism. I can't pick that up. Max. I can't pick that up. I better do something about that padlock first. I think the lock's already being used to keep me from entering that trailer. I can't pick that up. Excuse us, but we need some help, and although you seem dangerously unequipped brain-wise, we've come to you for advice. Huh? Whoa, you're a big boy. That's why I sit down all the time. Do you guys all go to the same tattoo parlor, or what? Actually, these aren't tattoos. It's my natural skin. What do you know about Bruno the Bigfoot? Who wants to know? We're the freelance police, and we're in a race against time. And we're barefoot. All I know about Bruno is what the Cushmans tell me. Well, that was useless. You might want to try the Tunnel of Love, though. Rumor has it that one of Bruno's buddies hangs out in there. Oh, let's go, Sam. No, hush. Do you have any idea what happened to Trixie? Trixie, the giraffe girl from Scranton? No, Trixie, the talkative poodle. She's my best customer. She used to ride the cone of tragedy for hours on end. I loved the way her neck used to whip back and forth when I cranked it up to full speed. Your sadism is a credit to your profession. Me and my partner want to ride the cone of tragedy. That's right, we've lost our will to live. I'm not supposed to, but what the heck. You two look like a couple of caring, non-litigious mammals. Strap yourselves in, and I'll turn on the cone. Sam, huh? <laughs> 
Ooh, I feel tragically empty. Me too. It's as though an integral part of my essence has been ripped from my being. Let's do it again. Maybe later, chum. Hey, what happened to my carefully collected box of useless junk? I can't pick that up. Will you help me? Depends. What do you want? Where'd all my cool junk go? It must have fallen out of your coat while you were on the ride. Here's a claim ticket. Take it to the lost and found. Toast. Nothing personal, but you're the single ugliest thing we've ever seen. Well, there was that computer game developers conference. Have you lost something? I lost a whole bunch of neat junk. You must have been gifted with psychic powers to make up for your obvious physical shortcomings. Bad deal. Have you got a claim ticket? Sure. Wait here while I search through the back room. <laughs> stuff we collected off the Kono tragedy today. It's all yours. The hell? I feel whole again. No, we didn't have that, did we? No. It's a powerful refrigerator magnet that says World of Fish on its side. I wonder how that got in there. That's what I want to know. Right, now we got World of Fish, huh? Hey, this means we can ride free all day. It's a large, sturdy Snucky's cup. Okay. Look at that. It's not. Getting that damn trader, I don't know. It's closed. She can't look at that. Tunnel of Love.
that's what that is. We can go here, I guess. Thanks for watching and I'll talk at you later. Bye folks. Take care.